Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to look at the tuning of F A C G C E, and we're going to take a look at some chords and how we can use these chords. Uh, this is a great place to start if you are new to this tuning, and uh, maybe you're interested. Why should I try this tuning? Um, so it's a little different from standard tuning. So basically, you take the uh, low E here and you tune it up to F. So we go up one step, and then we come down to the D string here, and we go down to C. Then we jump over to the B and we tune up to C. So if we take a capo and then throw it on any old fret, I'm just going to put it on the fourth here. And then you play um, open. Sounds very nice, very bright. And if you're familiar with open tunings already, you you know why they're so much fun to play in. And if you're new to them, then yeah, you're going to uh, hopefully be inspired by this video to try out some new tunings and obviously try out this tuning. And it's also important when you put a capo on to retune because you'll find some of the notes go sharper. Because some of the strings have uh, changed tuning, this means the chord shapes have changed. And for this video, I'm going to show you five chords, and they're all going to be starting from the, the high, uh, low E here, sorry, it's not in E anymore. And um, I'm going to keep that whole theme of big, brash, nice, open sounding chords. And um, yeah, so I'll just play them quickly uh, in context, and then we'll take a look at them in detail afterwards. Yeah, so that was just a little thing I came up with uh, when I was putting these chords together. So yeah, I think those chords sound quite nice, they complement each other, right? And uh, they've got some strange names there, but don't worry about that, it's more about how they sound, right? So, uh, starting from, uh, from the first chord, which is an A major 9. This is basically, doesn't matter where you put the capo, if you have no capo, it's going to be the same chord, but just the note at the start name changes. So if you don't have a capo on, this is going to be an F major 9, but with a capo on the 4th fret right here, that makes it an A major 9. Then the second chord is a B minor 6 9 add 11, so a bit of a tongue twister. Of course you don't have to use these two open strings. And then we're going down to a F sharp minor 9. That one sounds really nice. Now E major add 9. So descending. And then we're going to a D sus 2 sus 4. Again, don't worry about the name. And then an A major 9 slash C sharp. And then complete the round back to that A major 9. Sounds very nice, right? Uh, I aim to show you more chords in later videos, but I just wanted this to be like some kind of introduction for you. Uh, so yeah, please, I implore you to uh, mess around with those chords, you know, you don't have to go the same order I just put them in. Uh, this is in the key of A major, but you know, if you don't know about your keys, don't worry too much about that. But basically these chords are all coming from that same key, and you can mess up this order and come up with uh, some different kinds of chord progressions. Uh, so once you've got used to those chords and you've come up with some chord progressions of your own, uh, the next step, a lot of bands you you hear, is they, uh, you know, the strumming chords, and they're putting these kind of licks in between. So I had a go at like trying to put together a little uh, little guide for you, so you can try and do this yourself. And basically, we're going to use this uh, scale I come up with, and it's basically just a major scale. So each note follows on there from each other. And then if you start to try and put these notes in between uh, chord ideas, so I'll give you an example of that. So 
that was the original chord progression I showed you at the start, but I added in the notes from that scale there. So for example, if you take a look at the first chord, I strum like this, and then I use the notes from that scale. And the second chord. Simple pull-offs like that. And then... And I added this tapping bit at the end. Uh, don't forget, the secret weapon to these kind of scales and these tunings is hammer-on and pull-offs, because it can make you play very quickly, uh, make it appear that you're playing very quickly and technically. <laughs> And it feels very nice and smooth, smooth and legato-like. Uh, so, have a mess around with um, coming up your own kind of ideas. And as a bonus thing, um, what you hear a lot of bands do is they leave notes ringing and they'll be picking stuff in between. So if I just improvise something uh, quickly for you, uh, you could have an, a progression of A, uh, maybe C sharp and sort of this B. So you could have something like a... Yeah, just, just things like that, right? Just uh, start messing around with them and hopefully uh, there can be a bit of inspiration for you there. You know, the best way to start writing things is to actually start doing, you know, stop trying to think too much about, you know, what you want to play and stuff and just actually start playing and getting stuck into these kind of things. That's my advice for you. So hopefully you found this video quite inspiring. Uh, please let me know if you didn't, you know, what was wrong with it and what you think I could do better. Or maybe it was just too too challenging for you or maybe too easy but uh, I just wanted it to be like kind of an introdu in introduction sorry, to FACGC e-tuning and um, I'm having a lot of fun messing around in these different tunings and there's plenty more out there so let me know if you'd like more videos on these kind of tunings um, like I said I can show you tons more chords and it gives me an opportunity to mess around in these kind of tunings. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all of my uh, patrons that are supporting me. And I'd like to say thanks to all of the uh, new subscribers that I got over the last couple, of, last week or so. It's been quite a jump. So uh, hello to you if you're, you're coming back and watching my content. I really appreciate that. If you are looking to support me, and if you would like to, uh, then I do have merchandise available. I've got some t-shirts, and like I said, I have the Patreon as well. And um, if you could please like and share this video if you did enjoy it or you think other people would enjoy it too, that would be great. And until next time, I'll see you then. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.